without the possibility of evil. It's something like that, you know, in that maybe a man is better when he's a dangerous man who's being good than he would be if he was just a good man who wasn't capable of being dangerous. And I believe that because the best men that I've ever met are very dangerous men. You don't mess with them. So, and you know that as soon as you meet them. Yo, 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 this is Big Boss from Oakland, California. You know what it is. Like, subscribe, share the Big Boss Real Talk YouTube channel. Okanda. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't want to go to work because my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life because I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh, hold my beer for a minute. I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket. I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit. I'm going to stay there till I feel like I'm winning. Oh, and this is just the beginning. I need a big change. Help me feel like living. I need a big swing. Home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all. And we all got dreams. We all want things, but what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe we can do anything? But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? Yo, yo, yo. You know who it is? It's the Iggity, Biggity, Bossy Boss Olini cooking with what? Gas Olini fire, fire content from where? Oakland, California, you know what it is. How you guys doing tonight? You see what it is? You see the title? You see the thumbnail? If I say so myself. We have none other than Mr. Ron, I'll call Listerine, because he's just too clean. Listerine, Ron Listerine Freeman, I am Freeman, who is an actual TV star, believe it or not. This is his probably third, fourth time on the channel. He used to come on the channel a while back. He's been on actually a TV shows or whatnot. And he just got back from Columbia. So I want you guys to put your hands together and welcome Mr. Ron. What's up with it, my guy? What's up, big boss? Nothing much. I am Ron Freeman. Oh, man. You a free man? Free man. Free, free as it comes. Man. Free at last. Free at last. <laughs> Thank God living, all living my Living my dream. <laughs> Man, living your dream, Mr. TV star, man. When the last time you've been on TV? Uh, well, I I, I do a podcast for the show every Sunday. I mean, I'm always doing something with the TV show, but yeah, that was on. But yeah, I'm busy, busy man. Busy Working. man. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you for making time to come on my show tonight, uh, Mr. Ready to Love. So I got to ask you, are you still ready to love? Uh, yeah, I think every man is at some capacity of, you know, you got to have some kind of love in your heart and uh, be ready to go into that mature phase of a relationship. And I mean, some some guys don't. They'll, they'll straight up tell you <laughs> it ain't for me. Right. You know, oh, and... <laughs> I'm going to be a manga for life. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I'm going to be a manga for life. Oh, yeah, it ain't, it ain't your style, boss, but uh, oh, yeah, I, I, I look for relationships sometimes. That's what's up. Shout out. We got a few people in the building. Uh, hopefully a few more will uh, trickle in. But right now we got Beach Bum TV. Yo, yo, yo. What's up to Beach Bum TV? And he starts off with a super chat. That's what's up with $2 in the plate. Shout out to Beach Bum with the $2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, my man, Ron Freeman from texas so houston this is, like or, this is like your third or fourth time back on here um but you know we're gonna run it um back so where, where, where were you born and raised you born and raised in, in the great state of texas no nah, detroit michigan 
Detroit, Michigan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, now I remember. Yeah. Uh, so how long you been in Texas? I've been in Houston about 17 years now. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's what's up. You doing well for yourself? It's a club owner, manager, several businesses and all the stuff. TV, TV shows and podcasts. And uh, you're a traveler. So I'm going to ask you this, Mr. Traveler. Well, how long have you been traveling again? When did you get your passport? How long you been traveling? I took my first, well, I mean, really, I was taking my first trips to Cancun, Mexico during the spring break time back when we was like 20s. And then I took my first real trip to uh, Rio, Brazil. I don't know, I was like 24, 25. Oh, man. Being you a thousand years old now, that was a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, I'm talking oh, about. Man, you went in the good days. That's what's up. So, yeah, you, you're you not new to this. You've been traveling. That's and even then, traveling. like you said, you said I went with the good days. But when I went even then at 25, they were like, oh, you should have came a, a half a year, a year earlier that you missed the good day. You know, every time oh. you go, they're going to say you missed the good day. So. Hey, you <laughs> You can't win, huh? You always miss the good days. You always did. You always miss the good days. And when everybody oh, say this stuff has changed, they say that every. I mean, the people that was traveling thirty years from you would tell you the same thing that you're saying now. You know what I mean? So it, it is, is what it is. It is what it is. Well, um, shout out to uh, YouTuber Barber World Zoe, uh, International Zoe. He's out there in Brazil right now, and a couple of uh, um, our. Uh, What's our group mates? You know, shout out to uh, Real Talk. What's our group? A couple of our uh, group members, they down there in uh, Brazil. And oh, yeah, um, yep. yeah, yeah. And they saying things have changed, you know, prices included, especially in Rio. Rio de Janeiro, the tourist area, Copacabana, and Rio de Janeiro, the prices. So some things do change, man. Oh, man, man. Inflation, inflation has been around since the the the, the dawns of time. <laughs> Milk used to be twenty five cent, so you know what I mean. It is yeah, it's gonna change. It ain't it ain't with dime, right? Yeah, it's gonna change. So it's just it's gonna, it's, oh <laughs> man, not for the boss, boss, boss. That's what's up. So you have been traveling all that time. So with this new uh passport bro ism, the new name that's out and about, is all the rage. What do you consider yourself a passport bro? Um, yeah, I'm in the group. I guess I I would consider myself in some form a passport bro. Uh, I look at it as a travel group though, because yeah. there's no other place on the internet where you could type in a search bar and pull up any place you want to travel, get that much information and content on it. Didn't the passport brothers group? Shout out to my, my passport brothers out there. I know I give y'all a hard time in the group, but uh, I love y'all. You know what I mean? We all brothers. Um, I just keep it real. You know what I mean? I like, I don't lie to women and I don't lie to men. You know what I mean? So I'm going to tell, whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to give you the factual part of everything. Very logical and stuff like that. And some, some dudes been lacking a little masculinity lately and raised by their mama. I don't know what it is, but sometimes they can't take the logical aspect of it because oh, man. men should never have that problem. You know what I mean? If it ever gets to a certain degree, we can get physical. You know what I mean? And we're not it ain't like what you're with a mother, you what you're with a woman and stuff. We should never have a a non logical conversation about stuff. So right. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Or be able exactly. to tell each other the truth. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. So, but yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I consider myself uh, a passport brother in in, in 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 those aspects, and I and I'm honest with them. Of be honest with which you are. I I will always respect the fact that you say you're a, you're a monger, and that's what you do, and you're honest about it. And I try to get them to say, like, come on, man, you're a monger. You're not a not. You know what I mean? Be you. They don't want to say that because they don't, they don't want to, you know what I mean? They don't want to um they don't want the, sti they don't want the stigma. They don't want the stigma. I but just, I mean, I, I'm an honest guy. I'm like, that's what you are. Be that. You know right. what I mean? I can see, you know, uh people not openly proclaiming that on the rooftops on social media, especially if you're an influencer, you're a YouTuber, or even on your own personal TikToks or Instagram. But I think Within a group, right? Within within our own group, the male group, the male space, especially WhatsApp or Facebook, especially WhatsApp or Telegram, within a group, keep it real with the rest of the bros. Like you don't have to lie to me. What what did Katrina say? 
You do realize I see you. Right? <laughs> you realize I see you. We on the same trips. Sometimes yeah. the same flight. Sometimes the same hotel. And they'd be the first you ones to the strip. Spot. They'd be the first ones to the strip. <laughs> the ones to be talking about. Don't sit here and don't lie to me. Don't 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 cap to me. I know what it is. Now I can see. <laughs> I can see if we in front of mixed company. I understand that females or what you know what I'm saying, and, and putting it on social media. But inside oh, yeah. groups, man, come on. But you know, some guys don't keep it real, even in the groups. No, definitely in the groups. But I, I and, and they get mad when I say, "Hey, this is what it is." But I, I'll be honest with them. I'm saying, "Hey, I understand that the Passport Brothers is more of a relationship base um, group." But let's keep it real. If you're only in town to somewhere like Columbia, DR or something for four or five days, you don't speak the language. You what are you gonna do but monger? You know what I mean? Hey, what, what are you gonna do? Like you ain't a sightseer. You ain't saying you're that you're even one of those. You know, I'm a sightseer, you're not a sightseer. So it's obvious what you're there for. <laughs> like, ain't the best beaches in the world, you know. This ain't there. This is when they get me. And the, the main ones that say they're not. Where do they go? They go right to the hot spots, right to the whole spots. They go to Sasu in DR. They go to Sasua, Pedro Casante, not La Vega, not Punta Cana, not Santiago, but they go to to Sasua, Pedro Casante, and, and they go to Thailand. They don't. They, you can go to Chiang Mai, you can go to Chiang Rai, but no, your ass go to right to where Patia Soy Six. Hello. You go to Colombia. Are you going to Berenquia? Are you going to Cali? No, your ass going to Medellin, right to El Central and Park Layers. Stop yeah. the fucking cap. And, and they have to, boss, We're because men. here's the We're thing. Men. We're men. They try to sell Passport Brothers as a cheat code. And it's just, there's no cheat code to the game. It's just not. If you want to be the successful Passport Brother that's married with a beautiful woman and stuff in one of these countries, you're going to have to invest two and a half years to be fluent at the language. You better invest in uh, an online job or something where you can make money over that. This stuff takes five and six years to put in place. If you're going to invest that much work, that much time, that much dedication, you can make it happen in the United States. No, but there's no lazy, there's no lazy way of doing this either or. You know what I mean? Like if, if, if that, that's your goal, <laughs> you got to be a better man in some kind of aspect of it. In some aspect, yeah. My own, my only thing to that is, um, yeah, with the building and all that. But after the finished product, after you do all that output, all that work, I think you can get. I believe you can get a better return for your investment overseas. From the average stock nowadays in America, Can I think if you put you ain't seen a millionaire stock in America though. I think if you put five years into a business real hard, like you had to do this, the learning language from scratch and, and build an infrastructure structure where you could live over there and make money, a decent enough money to be relevant over there. Mm -hmm. I believe that you could be a millionaire in the United States. And if you've well, seen their stock, it's different. Well, they're, they're different with a different kind of stock than what other people deal with. Okay. Well, we could do this segment before we get into the what's the name. This could be the Matrix segment because what my style and not everything is going to be different, obviously. So I, I'll start with that disclaimer. Duh, but that's obvious. But we got to go on to like what's reality for like the 80%. But obviously, you're going to have your rare. What's the well, name? Well, I said for the 80%, they got to do the work anyway. You're, you, uh, but, in okay. order for them, do you agree that in order for them to live overseas, marry overseas, they got to learn the language? Okay, but, but you that's that. where I'm going with it with the millionaire okay. in the states. We see with we see with Steve Harvey, we see with Tyrese, we see with real live multi millionaires. What happens? I won't have Eddie, I won't have so. Yeah, you do all that work, you make a million, billion, trillion dollars in America, but the American system and feminism. In these courts, these women would take half of your meal. I want 200 million. You were 400. So I'm saying, even with the million, you're better off overseas with a different mindset. That's my belief. No, no, I, I agree with you with the system thing. So you got to live over there now. Now you're living, we, you're, 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 you're downgrading right. your living we to a third world country. Every day. I want half. I want 100 million. I want a divorce. I want you don't got to marry her. 
<laughs> these women ain't requiring these women are not requiring marriage these days. Trust me, I, I've been in the game like, as long as I've been. I've never been married, and I've dated more than anybody. Oh man! So you know they're not requiring marriage like that. These women don't even want to get married no more. Oh, man. In America, uh, they 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 want to be you. They want to they want to go on trips and and do wild stuff, and uh, it, it, they're not even really requiring marriage like that. Okay. So you say. I beg to differ. I, it's a lot of women that do want to get married. So they want, they want to, but they're not even they're not even prepared to get married. You, you got to be prepared to get married. They, they don't. It's a very uh, marriage is a very selfless lifestyle. You know what I mean? And, right. and in the way that the uh, America is customizing right now, people are not built like that. A lot, a lot of people are not. Not even they the women are not. <laughs> yeah. So they're not gonna fool themselves. They they might want to get married because it's it's a woman's dream as a childhood. Right. It looks good, and your home girl is and stuff like that. Do it for the family, do it for the family to please the family. Yeah, but you see, they're not doing the work. There ain't right. no men like, oh, I'm getting three meals a day and I'm doing this, and she just loves being a wife and all. You no, know. well, they'll tell you that. So I don't <laughs> cook, I don't clean. Let me show you how I got this ring. Oh man, yeah. So okay. yeah, I, I wouldn't say they're so stoked about a, a real marriage or how that's really supposed to go down. It ain't no no thrills and and everything like that. But my married friends, they they in the house with the kids, with the kids, chilling. <laughs> and and the, the wife is no vacations, out. no nothing. <laughs> and the right the wife is rationing out the sex. Oh man, you only have sex three times a month. What? Oh no. Boss, boss, boss. I don't know about that. I think that's an old school uh, <laughs> analogy. What? People say that all the time. People say well, it's, it's a thing called sex, a sexless marriage. Sexless. Yeah, I don't think they was getting sex before the marriage. <laughs> oh, nah, I, I do. I think they was getting it before the marriage, and, a, and after the marriage, that shit dried up. Once, once that shit got secure, she got secure. That shit dried up. I don't know about I don't know about you, but when I went to what same woman in a relationship for a very long time, to be honest, mm -hmm. she gotta remind me about sex sometimes. Right. It's like I didn't we've been together so many times, like it ain't like you know what I mean? I ain't just you know what I mean, once you <laughs> been there, you know, it ain't no I, I don't you know, I don't get why a, a guy has to have three times sex a day with a wife that he's been with for seven, eight years for that same move. <laughs> but, but, but can he get it three times a week at least? It ain't gotta be three times a day. I wouldn't I don't necessarily I wouldn't need it three times a week, but I, I, I understand it. It, it when he wants it he should be able to get it. He should Thank be able to get it. You. That's the thing. Thank you. Because guess what? On her end, she wants all the, the, the manly husband duties that he's supposed to do every day. He can't. He can't ration. He can't ration out the husband duties, but she shows. But I think. I think a lot of times in a marriage, though, he's wanting. He's getting other stuff other than sex. That's why you don't see those guys. Those guys complain all the time, but they don't go nowhere, because the sex part is really not that big of a deal. If you ain't the, I'll call it the power of new. If it ain't new sex, yeah. <laughs> worth a lot less. It just really is what you, it is. You are correct. That you will spend right. a lot more for uh for something new. New. And you would for something old. And that's just anything right. down the board. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? But the key, point, the key, first. Point, the key point, no shouldn't be part of her vocabulary when it comes to that. It shouldn't. But I know I know they, it's it's very a skewed thing. They, they make it seem like, oh, it's the woman. She ain't giving the husband sex. She's watching. That. I know a lot of husbands that give their woman sex just to shut them up. It's a chore to them. Not a chore, but it's a job. It's a second job. Right. Like, oh, I gotta go have sex with her. You know, that Al Bundy thing that was back in the day on a TV show, that's realer than you, it's realer than you thought. He had sex last month. <laughs> Kill me, man. That's, that's the real part. And women know that, too, because they're like, this dude don't be chasing me around like that. He's a take it or leave it type of guy. If I bug him for sex, he'll go, oh, okay, yeah, let's do it, but it ain't, you know what I mean? A lot of these husbands ain't chasing these uh, women around in the house that they didn't have sex with them for years and years and years, that ain't that's not reality. It was really going on. I feel in uh in marriage, but all right, I beg to differ, but we we can agree to disagree. But moving away from matrix shit, uh, from what it is, right? The whole point of passportism. Somebody just took a trip recently. Where do we go? 
Uh, I went to Columbia. I went to both uh, Cartagena and Medellin. All right. Cartagena and Medellin. Medellin. Uh, how many, so how many times have you been to Columbia? It's my third time. Third time. Yeah. How many times, have you been to Cartagena before? Or is this your first yeah. time? Not okay. Much. I've been to three times both. I went to both. Oh, every oh, time oh, I go, both. every time I go, I go to both. You go to both. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So it's right. I've been to Columbia three times and I have yet to hit Cartagena. So next time I go to Columbia, I definitely got to hit Cartagena. 40 before minute flight. Before 40 minute flight. $100. $100 flight or an $80 flight. Uh, and it's, you know, very quick, very easy uh, airport transition. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it's it's totally different. Like Medellin and Cartagena makes uh, you feel like you're in a whole different country. country. Huh? Yeah, not even weather wise, the weight, the outlook, er everything's is totally different. Wow, wow, that's what. That's why I got to hit them both because I that's can't why you get hit them both. Okay, yeah, I got to hit them both. I got to hit them both. Okay, well, the next logical question out of the two, you hit them both. Which one do you you like better? If you only if you only could do one, which one would it be? If I'm visiting on vacation or chilling, Cartagena definitely hands down. Uh, okay. If I've got to stay there for over a month, then uh, Medellin. Okay. Medellin. Yeah. Okay. That's deep. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, like I said, uh, I've been three times, but I have never did Cartagena. I just did uh, actually. I only did Medellin once, and I did Bogota twice. Um, Santa Fe. That's what's up. So, 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 so. Uh, but Medellin, obviously, you hear all the druggings and scopings and kidnappings and, and, and Medellin. Matter of fact, last week, I don't know if you aware, on my show last week, last Saturday, I had a guy who was in Medellin, he went to Medellin, and he got drugged. He was on my show last week. A girl had put some drugs in his food. And was and was eat, uh, feeding him. And he ate about a quarter of the food, but he said it tasted funny. And the weird thing, this chick kept trying to feed him like he a baby, you know, like airplane. To, you're like, hold on. And, and to the point, she was shoving food in his mouth, pause, before he would even finish the mouthful, she kept feeding him food. So something went off, and, you know, he's like, no, no, that's enough. Anyway, he got poisoned and sick and all the shit. He went to the doctor the next day. The doctor said <laughs> if he would have ate the whole plate of food, he would be dead. Not just sick and drug. He would have been dead if he would have ate the whole plate. As it was, he ate about a quarter, and he was sick for three days. He couldn't get right for three days. And he only ate about a quarter of it, and he was sick for three days. If he would have ate all of it, the doctor said he would have been dead. I had him on my show last week. That being said, that being said, the crazy in Medellin. How did you fare in Medellin? I fare fine because I like the uh, Provenza area, and the Provenza area they got their locals there. They got money over there. Them nice little restaurant stuff are not cheap. The Colombians are there. They got they. And you go all them guys that think oh Colombian women gives love black men and stuff like that. Go to Provenza and go to one of their local clubs that are packed and see how much action you get in there. Because <laughs> uh -huh. they all got money. They don't they care about money. your money. Yeah, so you, you, be the, you ain't getting a number. You ain't getting nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to struggle because it's just like it is in the States. You can go. It is a Colombian bar right downtown in Houston. Gorgeous Colombian women. Mm -hmm. They got money. The guys yeah. there have money. Your black butt's going to go there and struggle. <laughs> and they speak English. <laughs> And they speak English, so it's right. not like they just want you because of you. You're you're black. You're handsome, whatever like that. They they man, my melanin is popping, man. They want this black hey. skin. They want nah, the BBC. They want their own, but they you know what I mean. But they want yeah, opportunity they really want, too. They really do want their own. They really yeah, they want opportunities own. too. So, but I like that area because I know it's safe. I'm like, well, everybody else got some money. There's there's nobody <laughs> about to drug me or anything like that. I'll rather struggle. With the game and, and run my, you know what I mean, and meet you know regular women out there. Now in that area, there's sketchy stuff, and you 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 kind of tell a sketchy woman when she's coming around. Uh, and if you want to go that route, then you're at your own risk. You know what I mean? 
Um, but you need to move. You need to move a certain way, mentally. I, I, I feel. Keep your stuff. You know, have a game plan when you go there. Keep your stuff locked up. I, I got, I got a, a Airbnb I like down there. It's right in Provenza. It's right on the strip. Right, right. All the clubs and bars and restaurants are right up there. It has two rooms for the price of one. So you can lock all your stuff up in one room, lock that stuff in in a whole room, and then you can be in the regular regular room. And she doesn't even know that room is there oh, or wow. whoever you bring. So I like that. Um, I also like, you know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? I don't, I didn't, you know that downtown area that you like? You know that, that yeah, central? central? Hello. Yeah. No, past past seven o'clock. I I'm from Detroit and I felt uncomfortable in that area. Like it just, like literally, I was like waiting for my Uber, and I went into a store <laughs> to wait for my Uber because I didn't feel comfortable staying out there in the street. And the store guy knew what I was doing, and he was like, "My man's like, are he's gonna buy anything?" And the guy's like, "No, nah, I know what he's doing. You know, <laughs> he don't want to be out there in the dark." Um, yeah, on that so, street. To my credit, I don't even when I went. And mind you, I only been to Medellin once. Like I said, I only did Medellin once. I do Bogota. And when I went to Medellin, I was with the homie Nick, who's past R.I.P. Nick the Worldly Traveler. We was down there in the daytime, bro. So uh, I can imagine. Seeing it in the daytime, I can imagine at night. Oh, yeah. At night, it was it was, it was, it was, it was kind of scary. You know what I mean? Because, like, you, you don't speak the language. I don't care how buff and tough you are. It ain't your country. You don't speak the language. You don't know where you at. You don't know, you know what I mean, what's going on. So it's just like it's not worth it, you know. Right. And and honestly, uh, if you do monger and that's what you do, Medellin is not it no more. Hmm. Like that, those new rules over at the park and all yeah, that stuff like that. Rules outside the park and they up and down the streets now. N yeah, but it's like the dirt of the dirt. Like you know, what I mean, you don't even want to be seen around them, them women. Like you know, what I mean, all the quality is not there. They didn't went somewhere else. You know, what I mean, uh, the clubs are the clubs were empty. Or well, I mean, I'm talking about Saturday, Sunday night. You know what I mean? Whoa. There's no, there's no hip hop spot. There's no nothing. It, it, it's just it was lame. And the weather, you know, what I mean, the weather's already kind of bad there with the rain and the clouds. So it's like, yeah. It's the new rules has shut that down. It ain't. It was totally night and day compared to when I went there uh, about four or five months ago. Okay. So yeah, but Carter into popping. But yeah, uh, but if you had some time, you know, I said Medellin to me has the best sightseeing. If you're a sightseer, uh, I went out to the, the big mountain, the Provenza for the first the first time, the Guadalupe. That was dope. And, uh, it was worth going. Uh, get a personal driver. It's cheaper, a lot cheaper. Um, they drop you there and get you right right back off. You know, uh Column 13, all the all the sites being there is worth going there to do that. You can meet you a cool little local girl um in Medellin. They say stay off Tinder. I would probably, you know what I mean, be cautious with that. Right. But once you meet you a cool one there and you know, you take good care of her or something like that, she'll help you out. She'll help you sightsee. She'll help you with the language. She'll 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 take care of you. You know what I mean? So it's it's more built now for people who, who's going to stay a little longer in the in the country. Okay. I mean, they had you know what I mean they had like known big time reggae tone artists concerts and stuff like you know stuff I would actually go to in the United States that was there in Medellin. So it's, it's it's becoming that type of city that's moving like that. It's coming more Americanized. All that type of stuff. So, <laughs> not good, not good. But you know what? I, I I guess it's just all by design, right? I mean, with them shutting off the park the way they did and whatever. Um, there is a sentiment. I don't know how big the sentiment is, but it is a sentiment because you see some of the signs: no sex tourists allowed. Blah blah blah. So, some oh yeah are against that so they're kind of pushing no it it's, it's, it's that they, i mean you've seen more of it on airbnbs they shut down the park thing okay. uh they got you know it's american now they got starbucks on every single corner man <laughs> now they didn't have that when i was there oh, six man. seven months ago so it's like you you can really yeah you can really in that provincial area you can really feel like you're back at in the united states for the most part without the language oh wow wow my boy, I ran into one of my boys. I was just walking down the street. One of my homeboys, he used to live in uh, Houston. He lives in uh, Arizona now. I just hear my name, like, run, what up? <laughs> so I turned around. I was like, oh, dang. And he was like, 
he's like, I've been working and living out here for like three months. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's like, I've just been chilling here and, and, and this, this, and that. And so that's how Americanized it was because he, he was feeling comfortable there. He don't know a lick of Spanish. I he's was a about to ask you that. Do, he, do, do your friend, do he even know Spanish? He don't know a lick. He don't know a lick. And he's been in three months. Yeah. Chilling. <laughs> because here's the thing. He was trying to look for, when, when you work abroad and you got customers and stuff, you try to look for places with the same time zone that you have back there. Uh, Columbia has the same time zone as, as Texas. Okay. So you can wake up at eight. It's eight there when you got to work, you know, abroad. So you can wake up with your customers. Right. Now you do Thailand, you're a day. Man. Uh, <laughs> so you try to wake up and work with your customers. Like you, you're going through heck trying to work out there. You know what I mean? And, and you in Thailand, you in a time machine if you're in Thailand. Yeah. You in the future. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, that's how he was out there and, 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 and trying it out. But I, I feel, and I, I met a lot of other Americans that, that was out there, you know, that's just, that's a vibe, you know what I mean? But they were, um, you know, people from Norway, stuff like that. They like that little area. They feel safe there, and they they were stay, they were there for a reason. They were there to learn a language. They were there for some kind of work. They were there for different different things. All right. So, so I got to ask you because no, no, I am a monger. I don't give a fuck. What nobody say, Big Boss Alini is a monger. Matter of fact, I'm a robot monger. So from a monger standpoint, Medellin is no longer really viable. No, I mean, if you was going to, like I said, just the monger, I wouldn't spend that much time there. I mean, you still got, well, I guess uh, I didn't close down the casas and stuff that they had down there. Okay. In that central area, if you want to go do that. The park is still open. You can still find whatever there. It's just like, I wouldn't. It's less. It's less probably horrible. I wouldn't trust no woman. No one of women. <laughs> I'm there for the most part. You know what I mean? It, it's. I'll tell you what. If you're gonna go there for mongering, I would go. If you're gonna do both Medellin and Cartagena, go to Medellin first. <laughs> or you gonna be mad? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> go there first get your sight seeing there get your feet wet and then then go over but yeah don't do it the other way around don't do it the other way around oh, yeah. man. oh man yeah so you say that uh medellin the little park lay Aris area where they kind of roped it off and they pushing the working girls out of the park and the working girls are on the street you say the but better yeah, it's the, the street <laughs> but they're not working girls the, the girls on the street are still like like it's almost like zombie land. Oh, like, what? Yeah, it's like thriller. Like, <laughs> you know, like I was walking on the street. Like, what the heck? I'm just trying to get to my destination. It was oh, like, yeah. Man. Honestly, yeah. it had, it put it pushed everything to online. So if you're gonna monger in Medellin, Medellin, you just got you got to use Tinder and take your oh, chance. Okay, but boom, there goes the rub. There goes the rub. If they take it off the street and they push it online, Tinder's where you get smacked. Tinder's where you but get drugs. You got to use. You have to use Tinder with WhatsApp and Facebook. It really comes down to a Facebook, really. And Facebook that helps too. So you, at least Facebook. let them let Facebook, them modify the people for you. Let them you let WhatsApp know. let WhatsApp and let Facebook monitor monitor the people for you because if she's an extreme criminal with a way, you know, a legit. Uh, What's that with a picture there and the number and stuff like that? Or Facebook has to, you know, they do stuff to kind of oh, verify man. who's who. Right, right, right. Oh, man. And then, like you said, you got to, um, and then you got to move a certain way. So you went out of Target, right? Well, you got to know how to move. That's what y'all say. I mean, if you don't got, no, if you don't got nothing on you, what you, what you getting drugs for? You know what I mean? <laughs> but they don't know that. They don't know that. They just say you an American. You got more than me. So guess what? Yo ass drug, we gonna figure it out. Make it clear, you know what I mean? Hey, this is all I this is all I got. <laughs> I didn't go to ATM, I didn't do nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> I ain't you in no know, fancy I clothes. I'm not in no fancy clothes. I'm in a regular little Airbnb. I ain't got nothing for you, man. Hey, uh, I don't got it. Yeah, don't uh, come in there. Actually. You gotta act yeah, broke. Yeah, sure. Poppy. No, Poppy, you got something for me, Poppy. Hey, this is all I got. Yeah. I've been living, you know, let her know. He said, uh, whatever you use, use it when you get there, Jedi. Yeah, shout out to Dream TV. That's right, because uh, I wouldn't trust pipelining. 
Because pipelining, you give them too much, as it is when you're there, but pipeline, you give them too much time to set your ass up. Oh, I'm going to be there next week. Oh, man, they had a whole cartel, gang, everything waiting for you at the airport next week. Wait till you get there. Worst kind of worst. Shout out. We got the 10 ghosts for the $5. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for holding it down for the proud. My, oh, you know what it is, man. <laughs> oh, some other shit, man. I'm about to really go hard on the manga tip on this channel. Uh, I'm really about to push a line. I meant I'm behind in my content, man. Still pushing out this damn Thailand shit. I got to get it out. Oh, it's almost out. In my next phase, I'm doing series on manga shit, on some real shit. Um, Cause I'm tired of the bullshit, and somebody gotta uh, stand up for it. So who knows? Bossy might I might blow up from the shit, cause controversial shit blow you up. So wouldn't that be something? The one man who is fucking honest and talk about it, that shit might blow me up like KS. So I'm gonna really start holding it down for this mongerism shit, cause these motherfuckers are playing. They doing the same now. Outside of people who who are married, they have business relationships, and I understand that. And of course, why expose yourself and snitching yourself online? I get that. But I'm tired of the guys inside the groups in our locker room groups lying to each other. So I'm about to just come out with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, boss keeps it trill. Man, man, man. I, uh, I respect it. Like I said, I, I'm not a monger, but I respect the fact that you come with it. I, I make everybody else come with it too. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what you are. That's what you are. That's exactly what I am. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. I'm a fucking Nothing wrong. Yeah, that's not yeah. wrong with it. Like I said. I don't give a fuck with nobody. You're a man. You know what I mean? Ain't you ain't nobody be, ain't nobody be, shame be me. I'm fucking grown. I pay my own yeah. bills. I'm a grown man. Can't nobody shame me. And especially in nowadays, you ain't doing really, the nowadays uh America whatnot ism, they let everything fly, anything go. Any alternative thing you can identify as this and identify as you are you a single man, you have every right to do what you want to do. That bathroom, you can't say shit to me. If I keep it grown, if I keep it grown above age, illegal age, and yeah. consent and, and consent, not force, not force, consent and above age, you can't say shit to me. Now that that has changed. Them rules have changed down there too. They're big on age now, so don't oh, you yeah, gotta be very careful. Good. good. They Very said, careful. A lot of people been getting caught up, but on on purpose though. It's one. They, well, they're cracking I mean, down now. It's like on some other stuff. Like every place I was, it was like that was the warning sign. The warning was age, age. Check ID, check ID, age, age. I was like, I'm not doing all that, but it was like age, age. Check it. Hey, 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 hey. That's good. Bueno, bueno, bueno. That's good. Cause you got a lot of guys getting caught up. Now, I need to be careful with saying this, and maybe I shouldn't even say it because people take and, and twist it, but I'm still going to say it because I'm real. It's one thing to get caught up on accident, and that's still your ass. That's what you get. If that's what you get. If you get caught, you get caught. If on accident. But we got we got guys going down there on some predator shit looking for that shit, and that's yeah. all the way out of pocket. That's all the way out of pocket. That's foul. Well, so they're, they're treating it. The, the law there is treating it all the same so <laughs> if you ain't well, yeah, a predator, you better you better it be on it. It, 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 don't, it it don't matter the only thing it is only thing it's unfortunate if your ass get caught up on some accident shit and or they she have fraudulent id like some fake ass id and it's fraudulent it don't it. matter because in their country they want them they want the money from you anyway, anyway. so if they can get you they they're selling drugs right on the street yeah go everywhere let a cop catch you with that, and you're done. You know what I mean? So it's like they they just trying to get you. They're baiting you yeah. to get you. So that's what I'm saying. They they're trying to get you because they know if they got a case like that on you, oh, we can say twenty grand, and you don't. You know what I mean? We can say we can we can choose any number we want. Any yeah, any number, any, any number. number, and you gonna pay it. They know yeah, that you, yes, you are you are at the mercy of them, and that's where they want you at. Man, oh man, but yeah. So I I I, I don't I don't play that. I don't play that, and I don't condone that. Everything is legal, 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 above, above age. And you got a whole country full of adults, grown grown adults that's ready to get down. So there's no reason to even be, unless you're a sicko, unless you're a Miko worldwide. Oh, man. But that that being said, that being said, um, obviously. So monger scene, not so much in Medellin. It's more off the streets, more online. So now you got to be 
extra careful online and use multiple websites to bet. But Cartagena is still good. Oh, Cartagena has gotten better. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. What? I, I've seen, like, for one thing, it was a lot of shocking things I saw at Cartagena. He gets to get off the airport. One, the the quality of dudes that was going down there. I mean, I'm in, you know, nice scene and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm looking at dudes, young, 32, muscles, six foot five, beard, braided up, Louis Gucci. You know what I mean? These guys have no problem getting as many women women in the, in the States as they want. Right. And they're just down there because they like, hey, travelers to, new, travelers to new thing that's going on. We gonna travel down here. And they hitting it up every weekend. We can come down Friday, Saturday, real quick. They got bread, quick Man. trip, roll right back. Man. They treating it like going to the. They're treating going to Columbia like going to the nightclub downtown. Wow. We gonna go for a day, shoot back, <laughs> buy some bottles there, shoot back, and then that's they're bringing that American vibe there. Like I mean, I'm talking about this is the first time I've seen like six, seven dudes in the club. Bottles everywhere. Their bottle prices are, are exactly the same as the United States. Oh, <laughs> it, no women around. Just dudes just standing on the couch looking dumb. <laughs> Enjoying themselves. They're doing the same. They came there to do the same thing they were doing in New York. Same thing they're doing in Chicago. Same thing they're doing in Miami. It's just a different different scenery. But that's kind of not good because you create another matrix. You make a mini matrix. So I hear what you're saying. Oh, it's already it's already a mini mansion. When it when it, here's the thing, you don't know the club scene like yeah. I do. But I haven't been. Thing, I, haven't, I haven't never I haven't even been, so I really okay. don't know. So break it. There's down. a thing in America when they call it, it's called a table minimum. That means to, to ha- sit at this table, you have to spend a thousand US. Ooh. You have to. If you don't spend it, if you don't buy the bottle, say you I don't want no more to drink, I don't want whatever like that. They charge you anyway. It's called Ooh. a minimum. A minimum. Yeah. That's a that's a, a New York, a Houston, a Atlanta thing. The the people when I went to uh to Carter Henderson said table minimum. They knew it already. They Ooh. they're saying table minimum their clubs like the United there States. Oh man. So yeah, they are already treating it like they're like that. Uh, it's kind of not good though. I mean, you know. So <laughs> here's the thing that the, the the people that spin it like that are the black people. And this is what they like to do in the United States. And they they brought it over to where they, they like to travel with. The United States. Oh, man. See, I, I, I got to push back on that. But that's why. Like- but, but you got to understand that these are the guys that are, are they're not there as passport brothers. Yeah. And they're not there as mong- well, they're mongering, but they're not really there as mongers because they're getting they, it back home. Right. They're just there just flexing. Yo, I got, I'm, I want to put on my Instagram that I went, I go to Columbia all the time. And then when I'm there, I'm doing the same thing I'm doing here. <laughs> because they got we we have a spinning problem in America. They, they got bread, but it gets they blowing it. They blow it here. They 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 gonna blow it. They gonna blow it over there. This is how it works. But before, like, like I said, now it, it's good for the women because yeah. imagine if you're a woman, you get paid a hundred, hundred twenty dollars U.S. Now, a Columbia woman. Yeah. That to sleep with a guy that's six foot five, months, looking like a supermodel over here. Right, look, yeah, look I'm like, like dang, you win win. Oh man. <laughs> then the bad part, then when a the monger monger come down, she gonna want to charge bossy boss a hundred and hundred and twenty one fifty. It's oh, I pay monger prices, baby. 40, 40, 40. Yeah, that don't exist in Carnanda. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this. Don't you know, and don't even try and, and I'll tell you this for everybody, don't even try it. They're going to look at me like I got like I got a third eye popping out my head, huh? No, nah, it, it's going to be offensive to her. Oh. <laughs> She's going to take it out of fits. <laughs> Almost to the point where she want to fight. <laughs> like, 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 you, like, you just caught her. They look at it different. You know what I mean? You looking at it is, here's some money. You know, you need it anyway and stuff like that. They don't look. You can't decide how another person looks at money. Mm. You That whole dumb thing where, where dudes are like, Oh, well, here's a hundred, hundred. You don't even make that in a week. Who cares? If she looks at a hundred US like it ain't nothing, it, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Like, you can't de- decipher that. Like, 300 mil is like 
anything lower than that, you basically telling her that she's fat, ugly, ain't worth nothing, street trash. <laughs> like you, 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 this is what it means to her. Past that, when you say that. To her, that's what it means to her. Yeah, that's what it means to her. That's what I get it. Man, it, 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 should, it shouldn't have got like that. Her mind frame shouldn't have got the, the culture, the environment should not have deteriorated to that. To 300,000 peso is calling her street trash. Yeah. Wow. Here's the you can't don't concentrate on the price when you're down there. You need to, if you want to do that, monitor, then concentrate on the service. And uh, sure. here's the thing with the service is you have to make the person feel comfortable. If she's not comfortable, you're not going to have a good time. And that's why I'm saying, spit a little more in your place. Don't have no raggedy place down there because it doesn't show comfortability. Um, learn, you don't speak the language, so you have to make the person comfortable. So get you some reggaeton music, learn some words, learn how to dance, have a little, you know what I mean? Have something, you know, get to, to break the ice. You know what I mean? To make the person feel comfortable. The only other way to build, make a person feel comfortable when you don't know the language is through music, because music mm -hmm. is a language of its own, dancing is a language of, of its own. Right. Or through money. So if you want to pay more, she's gonna feel comfortable because you can, money talks. They ever heard the scene that says money talks? That means it talks a language <laughs> on its own if you don't have to speak the language. <laughs> So if you want to overpay, yeah, that's fine. But if you don't, yeah, you better learn how to have a uh, person feel comfortable. And if you don't speak the language, you better learn how to dance a little bit and, and, and get a vibe with a person through body language and things of that nature. Now, if you're going to met, I was dealing with a lot of uh, local non-pro uh, in Cartagena. What they wanted, they wanted experience. Take them to the, to the boat to the thing and a nice dinner and stuff like that. And unlike in the United States, if you do all that, you're probably not gonna get none. Right, Over there, she's gonna, she gonna take gonna, care you of you. You're gonna get a church hug, you're gonna get a church hug, you might get a peck on the cheek. Yeah. No, she would if, if, if she says, okay, I like your you know your profile, y'all don't even have to speak the same language. But if you say, hey, I'm gonna take you on a nice experience and it's something that she can't normally afford to do. She will think, you know, I mean, she'll take care. She'll she'll be cool with you, even knowing that you're not gonna be there that long. Right. But don't that come in there with no. But don't half-ass their experience. You gotta get her. You gotta take her to a very nice restaurant and a very nice boat, and take her to a nice beach and let her, let, you know, what I mean, do her thing, get her pictures and stuff, Instagram and all that. If you don't, so she can she can step on her friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she has to find some value within it too. So that, that's the way she's gonna see the value. So. It's, it's only two ways to do it. You're either going to A, deal with a local, give her a good experience, or B, you're going to make a person feel comfortable on the other end. Because if you don't, and then like I said, the comfortability doesn't have to be about money. You can catch a vibe through dancing, through music, to have all that stuff ready at your place. A nice place where she's comfortable and, and, and things of that nature. She feels safe. Well, not, no Roach Motel, not no Roach Motel, the Matchbox Roach Motel. No. You got to think like them, like, and you got to have a good location too. You got to be by the rest of the club because she gonna want to come through, and when she done with you, she gonna go back and make some more money. Oh man! <laughs> so you can't have her twenty minutes out the way, and you ain't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's gonna that's gonna come into your cost. She said, "If it's gonna take me that long to get back, that's gonna bite into your cost." Yeah, I mean, it's better just to have a just pay more on, on the room. You know what I mean? Pay more on a nice Airbnb that's in good location that you feel comfortable at so the other person feels comfortable so they can stay a little longer and uh and, and, and treat you right. Rather if you're doing a monger thing, which you choose the, what you do, or if you do the local thing where, you know, if I'm gonna talk to a girl there, I'm gonna talk to a you know, I'm gonna get online, I'm gonna talk to a local. Uh and and Cardinal was safe. I don't care if you're online. Or if you get wherever you were at, it everything was safe. It was because it was so many Black Americans there. It's nothing they could do. They we almost outnumbered the Colombians. <laughs> I, me I remember you said you said that in our group. And shout out to the Real Talk West. Everywhere I went, I saw big regular Black dudes from the America <laughs> everywhere. So it's something. They, yeah, something went down. All I had to do was just say, "Hey, Jerome, hey, what, what up?" You know. <laughs> hey, all you had to do was do the. Uh, 
do the hat move like the dude did in Alabama. The boat yeah, in Alabama. because they they were there, yeah. especially on Friday and Saturday. I'll, t- I'll tell you what, if you don't go to Carnegie over there and other people came, yeah, especially on Friday and Saturday. If you're gonna if, if you're gonna do your the monger thing stuff like that, if that's what you're gonna do, don't do Friday and Saturday. Go to Carnegie hit the Monday <laughs> through Thursday. Oh man. Friday and Saturday, a zoo of, of out of towners coming in for that too. Because they're only coming in for two days New York, Chicago, this and that. They bred it up. It's too much going on. Going Every on. You're not going to get no time. It, oh, it, it's man. a mess. You're not going to have a good time. Oh, Go, yeah. Monday and Thursday, lay back, relax. You're going to see all the same women. Go down. You know what I mean? Like, hello. Hello. That's like a mini uh, low season. Hello. No, no, it ain't low season. You still gonna pay, but at least you're gonna have you'll be more relaxed. You got more time. You get uh I'm still gonna you have to pay like that. Oh, yeah. No, you still gonna pay. You ain't money money talks over there. Oh, man. But but yeah, you'll have a little more it ain't hustle and bustle though in front of you. But Friday and Saturday, they don't ain't hustle. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, get it. <laughs> It's, it's moving too fast for you, boss. It's too on Friday Saturday. Moving too fast. It's moving too fast for the boss, you boss. Oh, moving man. too fast. So. Oh, man, Big Mike say I get better love connection with foreign chicks overseas that I can't understand using the Google Translate app than our women here in the state. Oh man, say it ain't so. You say you get better connection with a woman through a translator than you do here, and you speak the same language. Oh man. Here's the thing that I that, that throws me off, boss, about men can't have it both ways, right? So I, I think like the sexuality and stuff in, in Colombia is a lot more laid back, even the because I, I was around a lot of Colombian men. And a lot of those women got higher body counts. Let's just keep it real. And to the point where he was like, Oh, if you're gonna link with a girl, go with the massage girls because they have less, less, less body counts. Oh man. <laughs> So, but in America, we would shame those women. A lot of guys say, oh, I don't want them to be, you know what I mean? And it's like, you can't have it both ways. You're like, you know what I mean? If you're going to be able to tolerate a woman with a higher body count, who, if you took her out to a nice dinner and treated her well and you expected sex, she would give you sex? Or do you want a woman who's going to, be conservative about her stuff and, and, and hold on. You know what I mean? You can't have it both ways. So what, what do you want? You got to be true to yourself. <laughs> no, but okay. What what I would think, if this is how I think, so what I would think is it changes. Here in the state, well, let me not. But overseas, overseas, that's what I say. A lot of these guys are full of cap. They're going over there to smash, to have sexual conquest, one, two, three, knock them down, sports fuck. They're not necessarily looking for wives and girlfriends overseas. No, I get it, but I, I was just talking about. Uh, from I'm, I'm talking about from that standpoint of the ones who are like the guys say you have the better connection with the girls there and things like that. The guys there, the Colombian guys, that's why they get them young because they already know the deal. They don't want women with high body counts in there. They got to deal with it because that's the, the the culture that they're in. And they understand that, but um, like I say, I see a lot of guys wanting it both ways. They're like, "Oh, I want a, a sexually loose woman who I take out to dinner and romance, and she's gonna reward me with sex." Well, she does that to you. She's gonna do it to the next guy, for the next guy, and pretty soon she has a high body count. And now you don't want her. Now you don't want to marry her. Now you don't want. Her. Good. Right. So you can't have it both ways. Like you, you gotta right. be. Guys always been like that, though. Guys always been like that from the beginning of time. We have the two classes of women. We want the fast girls that we can smash pretty easy. But most of the time, we're not going to take those girls serious and marry them. We want the little goody-goody church girls for marriage and relationships. So guys have been like that. And and I guess that's kind of not cool. It is what it is. Yeah, well, you can't blame the women. You can't blame the women for playing the game right here. (laughs) Because at the same time, we want the loose girls because every woman serves a purpose. We want the Lucy Lucy girls for fun. Those are fun girls. And then we have a separation for the girls we take serious who are conservative. It's not right, but it is what it is. But my thing is, you're always going to have it. So it's not me creating it. 
Because you they're gonna be like that already. You're already gonna have fast loose girls already. It's not that I made them, they're already like that they own self. Let hey, I'm just over here having fun with y'all. Yeah, and, and that's why that's why when you're talking about the, the openness to the monger thing that you do. Because a lot of guys, I, I saw guys from America that I knew when I was down there, Carnita, and the first thing, if I caught them in the mall and stuff with a chick, the first thing they'll say, oh, she don't work. Or she don't work. <laughs> like, first, why they tell me her name? Why they tell me how they met? <laughs> oh, she don't, you know what I mean? They, 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 they be, I was like, dude, if you're ashamed of her body count and what she's doing, like, you know what I mean? You can't have it both ways. <laughs> you want to come over here for a more looser woman. She you want to come over here for more looser woman, but then you want to you want to be the first person to say, "Oh, she she's a loose week, two week trip, one or two weeks, and you don't speak the language, and she's already sleeping with you, but she don't work." Okay, and yeah. it could happen, but but you got you better you you're gonna pay for it anyway because you, you're you're you got to give her experience. Oh, nice dinner, everything like that, and and. And is she understand that? You gonna spend it? You still gonna spend a hundred? <laughs> Easily. Yeah. So it just depends on. What well, that's it is. So, so what and I don't mind doing that because I, I feel that if you do end up having sex with that girl or whatever like that, she gonna treat you good. You know what I mean? You can rely on that girl. I can call that girl when I come back if I need direction somewhere, if I need this, if I need to find a bag, you know, something like that. You could, you know what I mean? A local girl that you're cool with going go look out. Yeah. It ain't always, it ain't about the hustle and bustle here all the time. Yeah. Even for, even for the same price point of the hundred, the hundred to the so-called non-pro that you spent indirectly on a date, it's going to be way better experience than a pro pro you put directly in her hand. Better experience, but she ain't gonna look as good. Uh, well, who? The pro or the non-pro? The non-pro? Yeah, she probably won't look as good. Yeah. Because but, if you're on the pro, you, you're choosing through two, 200 women. You can pick what you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you talking to a monger, but, I, but I, I'm being open on the other side. So I, I see the benefit on the other side. I see the benefit to the to the regular chick, to the non-pro. No, I like, I, I, I don't mind her. I don't mind her. I like regular chicks. And like I said, I like it because of the friendship benefit. Because I can hit them up. If I, like, I, I had a friend that was, while well, I was coming down there, she wanted some vitamins and stuff she couldn't get from the United States. She sent me a little list. It was like $30 worth of stuff. I gave it to her, and now I'm the hero. Now if I need anything in Colombia, she got a, a family member, uncle, somebody there that can help me out if I get any problems. It's like, it, you know, it makes my trip better, more safer, more understandable. And I got a person I can go kick it with to go if I want to go do some excursions and things of that nature. And everything's cool. So I like that. But because, I mean, sex is sex. You know what I mean, you can get it. You know what I mean? Okay. So you, you, everybody plays a little different, but you, yeah, you ain't gonna call up the the pro that you was with every night and be like, "I'm in, I'm in a jam. I need to know how to get." You know what I mean? She goes like, "I'm sleeping." <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So you, you, like I said, you get what you pay for. That's what I'm saying. With the uh, with the organic, you get more for your money. But my thing is, you still paying, but you do get more for your money. So I give you that. I give you that. I, I give you that all day long. But you're still paying, is what I'm saying. And my thing is, I like variety, and I like multiples, and I'm trying to smash two, three a day. I ain't trying to be with no one chick all day on a date, on a boat, on the beach, to the rooftop, uh, a, a restaurant on top of the hotel, and hang gliding, and, and catching fish, and flying kite. I'm trying to schedule you. Two hours later, schedule somebody else. Schedule somebody else, man. I'm doing two or three a day. Oh man, sports fuck. That's what. Yeah, I can't do it. It, it. I feel it, it's an empty feeling with me doing that, and, and it's and it's exhausting. But. <laughs> but I will say this. I will. I will say this. Uh, never again, like I did on my first trip, my first Tasua trip. I never repeated that. And I'm not trying to repeat that. Oh, oh, oh. I did, I smashed 
23 different chicks in 10 days. You're wild. You're wild, mind man. You, you're wild, man. Thank you. Some of them, that's just 23 different. Some of them were repeats, right? Some of them were repeats. Yeah. She was good. So probably smashes. I might have had like 30, 30 smashes, but I had 23 different chicks in 10 days. Man, after that, I said never again. It started it started to not get fun. I can't remember. I think before it hit 20, 18, 19, 20 ish. At that point, I was just doing it just to do it. I said, this is how porn stars must feel. Ah oh, man. Yeah, you got that crazy high sex drive. But yeah. And but I, was, yeah. I was old. I was old then. I'm old now. Even then, I was in my I was like what 46, 47. And y'all be over there taking them enhancements and shit. Like, well, y'all crazy. Y'all gonna have a, a, a Kevin Samuels heart attack messing around. <laughs> Man, but that being said, I'm not trying to go that hard no more. But this dude was down there. When I was, in the, I was in the store getting my Gatorade, and the guy was down there getting his Cialis, this white dude and stuff. And he was, hey, he's like, I'm 56 years old. This is my regiment. He was like, I don't care what the price is. And he was doing his thing. And I was like, wow. <laughs> Six. Oh, man. Goals. I heard that. But yeah. yeah. But let me, I'm going to, I got to go in a second. So let me recap this because for the people who are traveling and stuff like that. Okay. If you are a car to hand like I said, my, my, my go to rules I'll say is a, even though it's a little more for your experience purposes, spend a little more on your place. Yes. Get a nicer Airbnb, get a nicer location. And you'll feel more comfortable. Um, just do it. It's worth it for the experience. And I'm the type of person where I'm, I'm like you, Bob. I, I used to cheap up the room. I've done it both ways. My first time I got in that, I did this little trap cheap room. I was like, that's more money I got to spend on my vacation. And it, the experience was night and day. But you saw the yeah. difference later. Oh, big time, big time, big time. Okay. And like I said, I'm the, I'm cheap when it comes to that. I don't, I'm the type of person, oh, I got a bed. And that was my right. mentality, but the experience well, man, was so man, you know, we give we can get by with less, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but the experience is so different. It was just a whole different experience. It's worth it. I get uh, that. but a little more. So get spend a little more in your place. I would I would advise going up. You can go Monday through Thursday. It's packed. It's still people. It's, it's still, still the same experience. You, <laughs> so, say, you, say Friday, you say Friday and Saturday. It's was Saturday. a zoo. It's a zoo. The word is out. Everybody go to Carnegie. It's the it's, it's a zoo on Friday and Saturday. Oh, man, it's too easy to get there. It's too cheap to fly there. Wow. They coming in droves now. The word is out. There's no secrecy in in that place no more. And you got everybody who used to go to Medellin are now going down to Cartagena now too. So on Friday, Saturday, it's, it's too crazy. Oh man. So yeah, you want to do a Monday through Thursday trip or Sunday th Sunday to Thursday trip, and do it do it like that. So that's another good rule. That's a good um, that's a good bring it. Bring whatever you need to make the people feel comfortable. If you're gonna do a monger thing, if you're gonna do the the girlfriend thing, then, then, then no different restaurants. Bring the, nice panties. bring the Victoria's Secret panties if you're doing the girlfriend thing. Oh, bring man. some music. Bring a speaker. <laughs> Play some yeah. Drake. They know they know all the Drake. They, you know bring what I mean? Bluetooth. Bring a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. Pop. Yeah. Yo, they love they love Drake down there. They love Pop Smoke. <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody love Drake. Drake. Yeah. Uh, so shout out to 10 Ghosts for the five dollars, boss. Would you consider slightly higher prices with extremely better quality on a day or two max? Well, absolutely. For uh, I always say that on most of my trips, I do budget some money where I can have one or two trophy chicks, one or two dimes. My whole but trip is going to be dimes, though. Fuck that. If if the if the if the dime does not matter, if the service is horrible. Trust me. Well, you you know got to make the first time. It this. doesn't matter. Let's say this. In my experience, most of the time, sometimes the dimes uh, service do be kind of trash. I noticed that. They because then you're not making them, you're not, you have to make them feel comfortable. If they're not comfortable, I don't care who it is. They're not comfortable with you. You understand, you're a stranger to these people, even though they do this for working and why, stuff like that. So if you're a stranger and you have no dialect, you ain't, you can't speak no language to warm anybody up. They, they're shy, they ain't feeling like, they don't know, you know what I mean, it's a, it's a stigma there. You just trying to get straight to it. That's why it's better to have a nice place where you could get her a drink and chill and play some music and dance a little bit and make the person feel comfortable. Do that, you know what I mean? Because I don't care if she's a dime or if she's a three. If she's not, if she's not comfortable, you're not gonna have, or if she, or if she gets 
Or is you just gonna overpay? I'm not. I'm not saying. Or if you're gonna overpay, you're gonna say like some dudes do that. They're like, yo, I'll get straight to it. I'll have a good experience. But I'm gonna, instead of a hundred, I'll give her two hundred. I'll give her three hundred. Um, <coughs> I'm dead. You killed the bossy. Three hundred. 200 you killed the bossy man oh they, they they but they understand that you give them 300 they go oh i know i gotta come hard <laughs> they speak that's the language money's the language they speak that language oh man but yeah so give i mean like i said everybody likes different things everybody in there i tell you what the black the dark-skinned black women down there were killing the game that's what everybody wanted they were on they were on demand mm, the afro afro colombianas you want the man? There's a lot of brothers down there. You know what I mean? Like, like black men are really keeping that place afloat, which is crazy, man. Black men, we gotta be a little better with our money, man. We spend too much. Yo. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah, and like I said, this is good advice. Uh, Ron dropped some gems. He said Monday to Thursday, avoid the hustle and bustle of the weekend. Monday to Thursday, you can uh, have a good time. Thank you for that. But uh, my thing is. When I find the next hot spot, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, if you didn't know. I'm going to keep it to myself because these Negroes, you're blowing up spot after spot after spot. Well, the thing is, travel was in now, so then you ain't going to be able to hide it. <laughs> you know what I mean? People going to travel now because they're understanding. It ain't that hard. You know what I mean? It ain't, it's not hard to get a passport. I don't care what anybody say. This passport, bro, like it's so secret to get a passport. It's not that hard to get a passport. It ain't that hard to get a flight. It ain't that hard to get an Airbnb. It ain't that hard. <laughs> they can, Hookie, Ray Ray, whatever you want to call them, can get to wherever you want to go. <laughs> you ain't yeah. keeping nobody out nowhere. <laughs> Once they didn't travel a couple times and they know how they, they take, they get over the phobia or the fear of traveling. Right. Oh, it's a wrap. They'll go anywhere now. Man. It's, it's over. Yeah. Monster. We didn't created a monster now. <laughs> and even if they got a, a girlfriend at home, even they ain't mind greedy, if they yeah. not. People like to travel because once you put that on your IG and stuff, it's gonna boost your status back home anyway. You always, say, you always say that. Shout out to you. you always say that that uh, when you travel, you should make sure you should put a lot of your stuff on your IG. Is that a boost? Yeah, go, guys, don't, get out the room. I don't care if you're a monger or not. Go see something. Take some pictures by uh, some a monument and go see the sites and everything like that. Get some history in you. God dang, like. Don't go Man. over there and get the dude dumb. It's not worth it. Go in there and, and, and have, a, hotel, have an experience. In a hotel room and just run them through. Run them through every couple of hours. Run them through. That's lame. Through. That's why hey, That's why they don't respect hey, you. That's why they don't respect you. Hey, <laughs> like, no, nah, go in there and see some sight. At least one day. Dude, they don't take a lot of time. God dang. Go, go out there. Go see something. Oh, but yeah, I'm going to leave y'all at that. Uh, like I said, Medellin. If you the guys who used to go and, and do their little thing there, spend less days there if you gotta go. If you already seen all the sites there, I wouldn't even go. Um but if you do go, I if you do and go to better things. Especially and especially I hear what you're saying real fast, and especially with the drug inks and scopings, even though it's obvious ways to keep yourself safe, but you saying with with the lesser quality, it's less reason to even risk that. You're gonna yeah. risk No, no, I wanna risk it. I would do, I would do, if I was going to have to go, I'll do, because sometimes the flights are better out of there and things of that nature. I'll do like Cardi Hits on Monday through Thursday. And I'll do actually Medellin on the weekend. I'll do Friday and Saturday because at least it's a little time. more people there. That and it's a lot less hustle and bustle. So you're just flipping it out. Yeah. That makes sense. So you do that popping weekend in Medellin, and that's probably the most you can get. Because you even said, even on yeah, the Yeah, the most you're going to see. Yeah. You said even on the weekends, it's not super popping. So that's like the best. It ain't popping, popping. So yeah, that's the most you're going to see. And you're most looking most, for it, whatever you... That's, you, the most, that's the most you're going to squeeze out of it. So you might as well do it then. Yeah. You might as well do the Friday Saturday. Because you don't want to be in Cartagena there where you got to deal with half of New York. <laughs> that was too much. Right. So that's the hack. So the hack is yeah. Monday to Thursday, uh, Cartagena, and then the Friday, Saturday, do your Medellin. Yeah. And... Spend a little extra to get a nicer hotel or Airbnb, a nicer and comfortable environment. If you don't know the music, bring the Bluetooth speaker and music and comfortable. Make her comfortable. Play the music right away because uh, the music is the language. So, oh, and, and if you want to, if you want to go, like I said, Cartagena, Tinder. You want to do the dating site? They work over there. Uh, yeah, they do work. But you're gonna don't do that and be like. 
come over to the no you gonna have to if you want to want a local girl you're gonna have to still spend take her on a nice date yeah okay. somewhere she want to go she ain't never been before nice discouraging something else like that and she'll treat you good and you about you make 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 a friend for life you know what i mean it is what it is but um so you said yeah, so no. fact, you say you saying in the cartagena when you do meet them on a tinder site or whatnot don't trap from the site and say hey come right over to my hotel to netflix and chill meet them on the site but set up a date date yeah if she's a, if she's not a worker yeah you set up a date date uh, and treat her treat her right and uh i'll tell you what if you are a monger and you're in cartagena you might want to try the the massage the massage thing here's why they all come to your place it's like you pick you could pick from like 15 20 women and i just got the massage because I, I i i i wanted to, and she actually gives a great i get a massage i lift weights No, I didn't get massage, but she. I live weights. So I get massage in the United States all the time, and stuff like that. Okay. She gives a, she gives a great massage, like a quality massage, like professional is there. But they're gorgeous. They're not on the street looking like you know what I mean, like like that. Uh, and she knows your body now. So if you do want to pay her to do something else with you, she didn't spend an hour being comfortable with your body. Now your experience is gonna be a lot better, and for what I thought it was, I think it was like the same price which you was gonna pay in the club dealing with that BS. So, and you get the number, you can call back and things of that nature. The uh, the Colombian guy said they've been ran through less, uh, they're better looking, uh, and all that. So yeah, that, it's a, don't sleep on those. You'll see them all around because massage is a big thing there down there now, like Thailand. But yeah, don't sleep on the massage. Go sleep on the massage. That's another hat. I am Ron Freeman. He dropped a lot of game, a lot of jewels. If you missed any of this, watch it back. Uh, he has to leave. It's Saturday night out there in Houston. He's about to keep yeah. it fit. Got to go. But yeah, travel. Go see some excursions, guys. You know what I mean? See the world. See the world. <laughs> Meet people, you know what I mean? Like, you know, all that stuff. It's, it's all good. Uh, for a starter trip, if you've never been, Columbia's a great place to start. Definitely is. Uh, yeah, food is good. Cartagena, food's great. If you for all my foodies out there, food was amazing. The food is cheap. Food's the cheapest you gonna, thing that you're going to pay for out there. Right. He always yeah. do, Tingo. He, uh, every time he come on, uh, I am Ron Freeman. He he drops a million dollars worth the game every time he come on. Bingo said you dropped a lot of game. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real, but yeah. So yeah, so go out and have fun. I'm gonna get going, boss. I know, I know because we talked offline. He has something nice even waiting for him that been waiting this whole time. So you can thank her for from Bossy Ball for waiting. And you stay lit, Ron. You stay lit in real life. Okay. I'll see y'all. All right, man. I know, right? I know, right? See? But he not a monger, though. But all right, Ron. Peace. Thanks for coming on, man. Right? Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. But he gave a lot of game. And um, this super chat right here. Mike S, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. We stay in a 25-bedroom mansion with two pools, one overlooking the city. It was crazy lit. Oh, man, yeah, they be having all kind of uh, good situations, Airbnbs and hotels in Medellin. In the groups, guys be sharing their, their photos and whatnot, and they be having in some lit situations, man. So that's what's up. I know you guys with this too lit yeah 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 but uh but shout out to uh the run he always do that though every time he comes on um like i said this is actually like i want to say this is third time on my show he hasn't he hasn't been on in a long long time but every time he come on he drops a lot of game like uh i don't know if you guys know like say he he be on tv he's a tv star believe it or not he's a tv star he be on tv 
he, he owns he owns at least one or two nightclubs down there in Houston. He own well, I think he owns one and manages another. So you know he's into the nightclub business. You know he's he he's about that life. He has a nice little thing was waiting for him the whole time. Uh, right before I went live live, he had a little lady friend like just wait. She was waiting in the other room the whole time. That's why I told him I wasn't going to keep him on long. So he's lit lit. And um, so whatever he say, you can take it to the bank. He say he just got back from Colombia. He did Medellin. He did Cartagena. And he just gave y'all some game on um, best way to move. He said uh, the recap. He said for the Cartagena, this is, is real crazy now. It, the, the truth is out there. Everybody's going down there. It's super lit on the weekend. So he said sometimes it might just be best to do the Monday to Thursday in Cartagena. was a little bit slower. And then if you're going to do, do your Friday and Saturday in Medellin, because Medellin has a lot more slower now, especially with the new rules. So you could probably get the best bang for your buck Friday and Saturday out of Medellin and do Monday to Thursday at Cartagena. But you know, bossy boss, I'm a Bogota dude. I love me some Bogota. It's not the fade, but that's what it is, man. So like I say, man, bossy boss, I'm not going to go long. But Bossy always goes strong. You know what I'm saying? So uh, thank you guys for coming out. I know somebody in our community is probably going live right now. So you guys can all follow over there. Uh, it is Saturday night. Saturday night live. For, uh, Bossy Boss going to try to find something to do in the Matrix. But thank you guys for coming out. Again, this wasn't a very long stream. So it's very rewatchable. If you missed some of the beginning or whatever, you can go back and watch it again and get a lot of the good information, the good game that I am Ron Freeman drop. And that's his IG. You want to follow him on his social media. It's I am Ron Freeman. That's what it is. And you know who I am? I am Big Bossy Boss Olini cooking with gas Olini from where? Oakland, California. Tell him T Love Entertainment. Oh man, not the boss, boss, boss. You guys enjoy your Saturday night. Tonight, I will not hold you up long, but thank you guys for coming out and rocking out with the boss. Oh man, not the boss. <laughs>